starting with Mr. Brown. All right. Uh, Chris, just about uh, the defensive improvement, I, I did an article for, Will, for Will's uh, Insider about, I think we were giving up 43 a game against FCS teams last year. That's down to about 25 this year. So significant improvement. What do you think is the, the main reason for that? Uh, a lot of hard work. I mean, I, I, the, the players are, are taking our scheme and they're, they're doing what they're supposed to with it. Um, we still got a long way to go. We're not nowhere satisfied where we're at right now. But uh, I think that from the most part, since we you know, put our scheme in in the spring through the summer to now, the, the, the players are picking things up the way we want them to. Um, and the coaching staff is doing a good job of implementing the stat, our, our scheme. But, you know, like I said, we've, we've, we've still got a long way to go. Uh, I'm excited, you know, what the future holds. And, you know, looking forward to just, you know, getting better every day. I know your unit uh, created three turnovers, I think, this past game. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and you're always trying to win that battle. How, how big yeah. is that to, to the scheme of what you want to do? Uh, I mean, turnovers, that's, a, that's the number one outline factor on wins and losses, you know create turnovers and not turn the ball over. Uh, every game that we go out, we're always trying to create three turnovers a ball game. Um, you know, uh, that's that's where we're at on defense. Uh, but, you know, anytime we go into a football game, we can give the ball to our offense. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's always going to be. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we scored on all three of the uh, turnovers that we created. But, uh, you know, if you can always stay, you know, given a turnover, two, three game, you know, you've always got a chance. But our goal is every game we're always going to try to try to create three a ball game. Coach, uh, good job by the line protect, protecting KD and also back-to-back 100-yard -back rushers. Uh, that shows some good progress there too, doesn't it? It does. It does. I'm real proud of those five guys that we got up there. Um, you know, we're pretty young at, at a couple spots. Um, and, but I think those guys have made some great improvement, and every week they get better and better, and we just got to keep rolling. What about depth? Is that something you're seeing come along a, a bit for you at this point? A little bit. Um, once guys get healthy, you know, Tony was out for a few weeks, um, and now he's back, which, you know, Quan stepped in and did a great job. Uh, you know, Quan turned 18 about three weeks ago, so he's, he's a young, young guy. Um, got a bright future ahead of him. Um, so, yeah, we're getting a little depth now. Some guys are getting some bumps and bruises fixed, uh, and there's always going to be a few more. So it's just an ongoing process and, and teaching those young guys to, to know both sides and, and different positions. So. Um, you know, makes makes it fun, but always always something new. What is the greatest benefit uh, to an off week on your side of the ball? Getting guys healthy. Those, those guys are, you know, just like you just said, getting that depth back, getting guys healthy, you know, bumps and bruises, fixing it. Um, when you have back-to-back 100-yard -back rushers, it means that we've been, we've been, you know, running the football quite a bit, and then that can get, uh, you know, it can beat you up some. Coach Boone, you and I talked at the, uh, the beginning of the summer, right mm -hmm. before practice kind of kind of kicked off. Where have you seen from that point now uh, the most improvement, and where do you think you guys still need the most work? We, you know, like I said, we still got a long way to go where we want to be, but just just overall, I think from A to Z, uh, you know, both up front, our interior line, our ends, our, our linebacker play is coming along, our secondary play is coming along. Uh, we still got you know, some young guys in the secondary because, heck, I think the last two ball games we started two, two freshman corners. But, but for the most part, I'm, I'm very pleased, very happy where we're at. Uh, the, the, the players have, have been very open arms about, you know, trying to absorb what we're trying to do. But, you know, it, it just, it's about anything and it's offense, defense, kicking game, getting better every day. and. I really was happy with the way we practiced last week. I thought our practices went very, very well. Uh, and, and we've been practicing very well you know, all year, but I thought last week we had three very good days of preparation. And, you know, and it's a process and it, it starts with practice. And the, the, the players are, are starting to do that week to week. We, we've got to keep, keep that mentality going. You win during the week of practice. and. Um, uh, that's probably the most pleasing part is the way we're going about our business on a day-to-day -day process. Well, with Demontre Wade out for you know a couple of weeks and, and maybe not even 100% last week against Austin P, mm -hmm. how big has Sanford's play been coming into those that you know coming into this week? Uh, yeah, uh, Wade went out. I, I guess the Western Michigan game, uh, like the first series, you know, so really three. 
three games without him. And, um, you know, we had two two corners. Uh, Cooper is a, is a redshirt freshman. Uh, Sanford is a, is a true freshman. But, you know, uh, those, those – those, they've, they've grown up quick. And, um, you know, uh, Wade played a lot last week. I think he had, you know, in the mid-40s on the uh, total number of plays. But for the most part, uh, those three guys have been getting the majority of the reps. Greg Willard played, I think, around 20 plays last week. Greg had a, an injury during the fall camp. He's back. So, you know, it's it, our corner plays picking up a little bit to where, you know, two weeks ago we, we was really only had two guys that had saw reps during the fall camp because we moved uh, Bernard Thomas to safety during fall camp, and yet he, he's been even playing corner. So uh, we're kind of getting getting back to being healthy at that spot, and, and that's a that's a welcome <laughs> a, a welcome at any time during the season. Coach Steele, um, as far as the offensive line is concerned, are, are you surprised with how well the running game has, has taken off since game one this season? No, I'm not surprised. I mean, I knew these guys were good players. So I knew they, you know, they've been working hard since, you know, we took over back in February and had a great spring, you know, run the ball a little bit better than we have been in the past. Uh, you know, Coach Dawkins has been doing a great job with those running backs, you know, getting those guys to run behind their pads and, you know, make make the first guy miss, that kind of thing, running, you know, hitting the hole and, and breaking tackles. and. And uh, so, no, it's not surprising to me. I knew they could do it. Um, just, you know, had to work at it and get some fundamentals down. How big was the addition to Tony Mays before the season started? Real big, real big. It just, you know, like I said before, it added some depth to us. Um, you know, obviously we got some guys that could do it, but now we got a couple of guys that can do it. So, um, you know, he's done a real good job for us coming in and, and late and learning the offense and, and, and taking control, you know, because he's, he's a little bit of an older guy. Um, so he kind of gives a little bit of a leadership aspect to it and, and shows those young guys, you know, a few things, uh, you know, how, how to do it, you know, and, and all that. Last year, um, from the outside looking in, it looked like the running game was kind of a secondary thing. It's like, well, we'll throw it in there. Now, all of a sudden, you know, with only I think two running backs have only lost 33 yards the entire season, you guys feel like that that's something that you guys can trust? Oh, absolutely, game? absolutely. And, you know, last year we could trust it. Um, it's just more what the defense gives you. Um, if you if you got great receivers like uh, Ski and, and Bobo and Paul and, and Jesse and all those guys, and, of course, you're going to get the ball to them. And, if, you know, if they – line up and play coverage and we're going to run the ball too so I think it's just give and take you know last week we were a couple last couple of weeks we were able to run the ball because they were going to defend the pass and so we, we can run it too and that just makes us that much more dynamic now um, that we you know are a little you know got some good guys up front some backs that are running the ball well um, so it kind of it'll it'll open up different ways different weeks depending on how people want to play us. I'm showing my ignorance here but uh, what does it mean to uh, for someone to run behind their pads? Uh, staying low, you know, using your pads and you know, not run, running high. Um, you know, I'd just kind of an example on a bigger, bigger stage. You look at guys like Leonard Fournette; he runs behind his pads. Derrick Henry sometimes runs real high. Um, now both great backs. Uh, just you know, you can't break a tackle if you if you're running up high. You know, you got to get down low. You know, not not your head low, but your shoulder pads low and run behind your shoulder pads. Uh, also, just want to get y'all's take, each of you. Um, the 95-96 team, I know Coach Nutt was in here. Did you guys have any act, interaction, good, bad? Just give me uh, your opinion on, uh, on what, what you saw. It was great having those guys around. Uh, you know, obviously they're a very <laughs> successful team. Um, it was great for our guys to see that and, you know, kind of, you know, get you know, see the pride that those guys have in this place. And it's been, you know, 20 years now since they were here. And just hearing them talk about how it felt like yesterday and how they wanted to be back and just kind of, you know, gives that little extra bit of juice to you whenever, you know, going out at homecoming and having those guys around. Same deal. I mean, it's always good to see guys return and, and they're proud of, you know, Murray State. I mean, you can, you can tell that. I mean, there's a certain pride there that, you know, uh, that you feel when you get around you know, teams of that, that type of caliber. And, you know, Coach Nutt, he's a motivator guy. I mean, I, I worked in states where he was a coach at when I was at Arkansas, Monticello, he was at Arkansas. And I've worked with people that's worked with him. I've met Coach Nutt a few different times and he is a, he's an, a motivator. And, you know, he came over and talked to our team uh, Friday night and it was, you know, he had their attention like that. Uh, but. Just being around that atmosphere, I, I, I thought it was great, you know, for, for a lot of our guys to see that. And, uh, you know, hopefully that's what our young players and our, our players are trying to get to, to, to be that. And, uh, 
but it was good for him to be around that.